It's a show of hands ending more than a year of political stalemate. Since the October 2021 elections, Iraq's parliament has been unable to agree on its new government. But on Thursday, the impasse came to an end as Mohammed Shia al-Sudani became the country's new prime minister. The Iraqis joining together will form the basis for the success of our government, which is centered on the principle of a national partnership with the people and openness to all political forces, whether participating in the government or not. The inauguration brings an end to months of growing tension. The previous election saw Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sadr's coalition score a parliamentary majority. But his bloc failed to rally enough support to form a government and he subsequently announced his departure from politics. Demonstrations and clashes followed, bringing about the death of 30 demonstrators. On October 13th, Sudani was then nominated to lead, having received the backing of powerful pro-Iran Shiite factions as well as a Sunni grouping and two key Kurdish parties. But a difficult road lies ahead for the former human rights minister. Mass unemployment, corruption and severely weakened state institutions are just several challenges awaiting Iraq's new leader, according to his predecessor. I call on all political forces to support the efforts of the new government on the path of continuous growth defense of democracy and human rights. The year-long paralysis had also left Iraq without a budget for 2022, with $87 billion worth of foreign exchange oil reserves frozen in the absence of an elected government. But with Sudani at the helm, along with 21 government ministers, the sum can now be used to lift the weight of immense social and economic woes burdening Iraq.